Hey, it's John McBride at Autel Robotics. I am the director of training and I'm going to be doing a walkthrough basically on our new Evo Enterprise. We're going to be talking a little bit and discussing quite a bit about the features of it, the payload changing, the accessories. So come with me. Let's check it out. Let's take a look at it now. All right, one of the things you'll note right off the get-go when you order your Enterprise is that it's going to come in a hard case. But we'll talk about a little bit about the bundles, basically how we're going to be selling these in the United States. So um, this will include uh, your batteries, your smart remote, your payload, uh, accessories, and everything else. But the case itself, well-made, hard, Pelican-type, uh, has a handle, roller uh, wheels on the back so you can pull it along. It is can be fairly heavy, so uh, having this capability is pretty awesome, but it's a very rugged and uh, well-made case as far as things go. Uh, the accessories inside and all the parts and pieces inside will be included with the kit, but just let me, let me go through a little bit of the combos themselves. As I said, in the United States, we're going to go ahead and do a 640T combo, which includes a thermal camera. You'll have three batteries as well, and then all the accessories, smart remote, chargers, everything else. The next one would be the Dual R. So the Dual R itself will also have everything in there, as I had mentioned, three batteries, your charge hub, accessories, everything else. The only thing that changes slightly is the actual um, 6 4 or the 6K Pro. So the 6K Pro uh, will also have all of the accessories, yet you're just going to have two batteries that will come with that one, a much more manageable price on this uh, one inch sensor on the 6K. So all of these we'll just go through, and what I have here is the 640 combo, so we'll just kind of go through the box and kind of tell you what's in this particular combo, but just keep in mind that they will be slightly different. When we talk about payload changing as well, we'll be able to buy a 6K, you can go ahead and buy payloads, and I'll show you a little bit about that. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the case. So we have the smart controller, um, definitely a huge screen. This will be included with the combos on the Enterprise. And uh, we've already seen that this has been very effective and working really well. So just to be very clear, this is a V2 version. Basically, we have the new uh, protocols for the 5.8 and the 2.4 protocols happening on the, on the uh, communication here. So it doesn't specifically say on the new uh, airframe that it's a V2, but it is indeed a V2 protocol. So just keep that in mind. So the smart remote. We do have the ship in here. This one again is the 640R, so the dual R. All of our accessories that kind of come in, in play. So another one to be clear on the combos is that we have the LED, we have the spotlight, and we will have the speaker. These will all be included on your combo. However, there is a space in the box here for the RTK. And the RTK is the only one that will not come uh, already added, but there is a space. This will be bought separately or purchased separately if you're doing any mapping and need RTK. So just to be clear, this will not come with your combo, sold separately. If you want additional battery ports or battery spaces, uh, we do have some extra props. This would allow you to put one battery into the ship and then three in accessory ports along the top of the case. Included is a charger, so we have our normal AC charger and a charging hub. So this will also be included in your kit. We also have a car charger in here, just in case you're doing any mobile charging or need to do any mobile charging. One thing about the mobile charging is making sure that you, uh, for safety reasons, have enough amperage in your, in your vehicle to actually sustain the, the, the charging of these batteries. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we have an, a strap as well that will become, come with your uh, smart remote to be used. And then down inside, we have another charger inside that's separate for the smart controller itself. So there's a separate charger just for the smart controller. So that's kind of the covering all of the contents of the box. It's a very complete small little package, so it's not uh, too big, too heavy, but you know, at the same time, the handle, the rollers make this an awesome combo for you to go ahead and get ready for your jobs. All right, let's talk about one of the special features about the Evo 2 line. So this doesn't matter which Evo 2 you own. You may have the V1, the V2, or this new Enterprise. So it doesn't matter which, ex which actual airframe you own, but this specific feature allows 
the only, of, only one of its kind to be able to do this as far as I know. So being able to swap our payloads out is a very mission critical capability. So if I buy it, my enterprise with a 640R, which this is what it is, a, the dual R, and I wanna swap that out with a simple 6K or the 8K or the 640T payload, I can do this. So just by utilizing a toolkit that will come with your payload, we're talking a payload itself, that you can go ahead and purchase separately. And then once this is open, in this case, I've got the 640T as a payload. And the 640T will then be transferred over here. So it's not very complicated to go ahead and make the changes here. Uh, simply four screws will get it apart, put it back together, then the application and the software will recognize that you now have a new payload on there. So this special feature, special to the Autel brand. So, uh, definitely makes it mission critical if you need to change these. I don't recommend doing this a lot, but you know, the, the capability of it makes it special. All right, let's take a quick look at the accessories that come with the Evo Enterprise. So when it comes down to actually doing something special um, on any of the other previous versions, uh, there is the RTK that has a, a, a spot on top that you can only put the RTK version on, but this one actually has multiple accessories that you can use, which includes the RTK as well. So we have the speaker, we have the spotlight, and we have the LED. All of these include a small dust cover on these, so I just want to be careful in, you know, as far as not losing that and getting any dirt or debris on the connector. So just keep your dust covers there. That keeps all that debris away. Then on the top of the machine, we also included with the Enterprise is a cover when you don't want to use the accessories. So we're going to go ahead and open that. And let's take a closer look at there. Other brands uh, that have this accessory port use kind of a, a little bit more of a, a USB-C or a USB uh, mini type connector. This one has a much better connection here. You can feel that it actually uh, locks into its spot and as well can turn down and use the twist to do it. So let's just do an install real quick. I removed my dust cover from the ship. Remove my dust cover. We're just making sure that these two actually line up with each other. So we're not forcing this in, but a very simple push it down and turn and lock it down. So one more time, we have the spotlight, the speaker, and the LED. And these specialized payloads go ahead and allow you to do a number of different things, or specialized accessories, rather, that allow you to do a number of things. So uh, the other one that we'll discuss real quickly is the RTK. The specialized payload of the RTK allows for data to be collected at real-time kinematics. So we have two versions of this uh, at, that Autel has made, but we want to be very clear that there is a difference between the two. One that works with the Enterprise, one that works with the actual six, uh, the RTK version. So this is the standard RTK. This does have a port on the top, but no accessories will work with this. So none of the uh, accessories we just talked about, the spotlight, the LED, the speaker, do not work with the RTK version. But if you end up with the RTK version only, there is a portion of the app that allows you to go ahead and connect to a virtual reference station via Wi-Fi or the possibility to go ahead and collect the data using the RTK puck. We can do the similar thing here with the Enterprise. So the only advantage here, again, you can use the other accessories, but this one goes ahead, remember, is a separate purchase here in the United States. So you have to get this if you want it as part of your workflow. You'll also need to have the VRS uh, connection. So uh, N-Trip or any vir uh, virtual reference station is what you will have to have or an account set up to utilize the RTK. Some of the special features about this newer enterprise version. So we'll just look at the airframe itself. So the airframe in comparison to a standard Evo, Evo 2 is identical. So the two of them are the same. We have the ability to have our uh, obstacle avoidance working just like before. And another thing to note is the batteries are also swappable between the two airframes. So if you have an Evo 2, you can go ahead and use the batteries in the new Enterprise. So there's no difference between that. But one thing to then take a look at next is the motors and the arms. So the arms are carbon fiber. They have that uh, ADS-B sticker on there, but a carbon fiber arm seems a bit more robust on this joint. 
but when we're at, you know, one of the things to watch out for is always putting pressure on the aircraft while pulling batteries out. We've noticed a lot of people doing stress cracks here. So same thing to watch out for is making sure that you're careful while doing your battery swaps. So the other part of this is the motors and the props themselves. So just a real quick look between those two right there. We can see that the motor on the Enterprise is a little bit larger than the motor on the standard Evo. Two. So this also would include our props being different. So we can also see here that our prop sizes are one is longer than the other. One thing to be careful here with is that the connecting system itself is capable of running either prop. So small props only on the Evo 2 and larger props on the bigger. So we don't want to make the mistake of putting a prop on to the wrong one. And even though the larger props can fit on this one, just make sure that you're not swapping those two out if you do own both. They are completely different and will change the way that ships actually handle and fly. Uh, another one of the features on here is again this position uh, to add the accessory. So you have your accessory port, just put the cover on so you don't get any dust in there. And finally the ADS-B, which we'll talk a little bit more on some of the new features that are coming with the app and everything else. The actual ADS-B is only coming in, but uh, what we wanna be clear on is that we are gonna have that portion in the app here available pr pretty soon to be able to show on the UI where the aircraft are. Last nice thing to note on special features, which is always kind of a special one with Auto Brand, is that we're going to give you warnings about geofencing, but no geofencing as far as uh, any updates to, to uh, locking you out of places to fly. Be a responsible pilot, make sure you're doing the right thing. Let's go ahead and talk about the features and the capabilities of the smart controller. So on the smart controller, which is uh, really a fantastic setup when it comes down to the larger screen, everything contained, you do have the ability to load uh, third party apps as long as they are compatible with the new enterprise. So for those that are not sure about that, just make sure that the third party that you're downloading is actually compatible. Um, full, fully, full disclosure here as well is making sure that your V2 version will not work with the V1 version. So any of the V1s that are out there in the wild, uh, this remote will not connect to. So you also have to remember that. But as far as this combo goes, we are running on the V2 protocol. So let's go ahead and discuss the accessories. These are um, hot swappable as long as you are powered on on the ship and you actually have an accessory initially installed. If you don't, then you go ahead and put the accessory on, you will have to reboot the aircraft. The only one that this doesn't apply to is the RTK. So if you're gonna put the RTK on and you hot, try to hot swap that, that's not gonna work. You do have to do a full reboot on the RTK to make that work. Then connect to your N-Trip or your VRS to, to follow through. So let's go ahead and take a look at the app kind of show a little bit about that hot swapping, what shows up on the screen, as well as a, a little bit about the Autel Explorer itself. Okay, as we take a look at the actual Autel Explorer app, we have camera and we have mission. We wanna make sure that we're logged in up here on the top, so make sure you're logged in. This will do a little bit of the flight re records and whatnot for your own organization if you need it. So we're just gonna come right into camera. We do have the 640R here, obviously a compass anomaly coming along because I'm indoors. But if I go ahead and change this over to the RGB camera, you can see my actual notes and everything else here. And I'm gonna go ahead and show my camera guy Hudson doing his thing back there. So we see that the RGB camera is working phenomenally. Down on the bottom left is the LED to turn on, or we have the LED uh, spotlight turned on ready to turn on, so we see that. We're gonna go ahead and see a couple of choices here, weak, middle, or strong. We'll just go ahead and hit strong so we can see that it's actually working and works fairly well. So from here, I'm gonna just do a hot swap. So I wanna go ahead and undo my connection here. And nothing has changed in the app yet. Remove my dust cover. I'll go ahead and Plug this in, and we have seen actually on the application that now it has changed to the speaker. So if I click on the speaker, I have speaker choices to be able to do. So instant broadcast, I can go ahead and click record, 
And if I click record, um, I will then instantly send off information. But I also have the played a, the, a saved audio file. In order for us to create the audio files, we're just coming up into settings here. We're going to come to our megaphone. We can record audio now. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the buttons and some of the things that are on the smart controller itself. So, you know, up on the top here, let's move things, a couple of things out of the way. So up on the top here, I have a roller selector for moving the camera gimbal up and down. If zoom is available on the payload, this will zoom in and out on the app as well. So the payload, if it has zoom, that's what we're gonna program there. We have C1 and C2 buttons here that can be programmed internally for whatever you wanna do. Power button, quick press on that, we'll show you the, the voltage on there before powering up to make sure you're fully charged. But underneath this cover is probably the, the fun stuff. So we have our actual charge port. That is a USB-C, as I mentioned. We have a separate uh, unit for that, a separate charger for that. We have also a uh, USB-A connection here, and then an HDMI. So HDMI out, be able to do any straight direct uh, outputs to a screen or anything that you'd want. Ergonomically, this thing feels great. One of the, another portion of this is being able to actually remove the antennas if you need to, um, you know, if, if for storage purposes, but you know, on the front of this, we have our home button, we have our pause mission button, gimbals feel great, and that is the most fantastic smart controller as far as capability goes that I've ever seen. So very comfortable. Um, the all-in-one setup here is fantastic. So go ahead and come into your normal uh, third-party app installations. You can go ahead and do those. So it shouldn't be a bad feature to actually be able to install those again. Just a reminder, make sure that those third-party apps actually work. So I'm super excited for everybody to get out there and start getting their enterprise ordered. Remember, we've got those three bundles that are available here. Uh, make sure you get a hold of your favorite dealer to get to uh, get great support as well as help with that. But we always at, here at Autel have the ability to help you as well. So um, pay, pay attention to us in the Facebook pages, pay attention to us uh, online as far as anything else. Email us if you have any questions or issues, but make sure that we have that open availability to get good communication, helping you out, and learning a little bit more about the enterprise and Autel Robotics. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is John McBride.